video, we are going to have a look at one of my favorite Bricks features, which is the Unsplash integration. So in case you're not familiar with Unsplash, Unsplash is a community of photographers that shares their work freely on unsplash.com. You can see the, some of the images, the latest images, just by scrolling down here. And you can use those images in your personal projects, but also in any commercial project. So if you go to unsplash.com slash license, you can also see what you can and what you cannot do with those images. You can see here, you can download them and use them for free, commercial and non-commercial purpose, no permission needed. This is exactly what we want. And in order to get started, the first thing we actually need to do is to generate a Unsplash API key. So if you go to your WordPress dashboard and then under Brick settings, we go to API keys and you can see here I already generated and inserted my API key. If you haven't done this yet, what you can do, you can just click this link which brings you to the Bricks Academy and then you can scroll down and you can see here exactly how you can generate your Unsplash API key. Once you've done this, like I said, this is totally free, it takes five minutes, a very easy process. So once you've done that, you click save, then we can head over to our builder and the Unsplash button is available on any image control. I'm just gonna show you this by using this image element. So I could just click here and you can here, see here, I can browse Unsplash. So I click here, it opens up this Unsplash pop-up and you can see here now that I can download images like some of them you also just saw on the unsplash.com homepage because those are the latest images. And by default the image names are a bit um, random so for SEO purposes it definitely makes sense to rename them before you download them. This why, that's why this checkbox is enabled by default so when, when you click download you actually are prompted to give your file a name. So I'm just gonna show you this quickly. Let's just say I'm gonna download this image. Okay, I'm just gonna call this road and then I press enter. And you can see now up here also tells me it's downloading one image. And I can continue just to browse this library and to see if there's any other image that I would like to download while I'm here. And you can see as I scroll down it keeps loading more and more images. Let's say I like this one as well. Again, I can call, download this one, just call it C. And now this image is being downloaded. Okay, so once you finish downloading all of your images, we can just um, click outside of this pop-up, which will close it and it will bring up our media model. And you can see here now that the two images we just downloaded, this one and this one are now inside our media library. And you can also see it's using my name here. That I just um, gave this photo and then I just click insert and you can see here now the image is inserted. And this is basically how it works. It saves you a lot of time. You don't need to head over to unsplash.com or any other website. You can just browse and download and rename all of those files right within Bricks. And it's definitely gonna help you save a lot of time. One more thing I can also show you, like by default it shows you the latest Unsplash images. You can also get, go here to most popular. Personally, I prefer not to use this because I'm looking for images that are not so widely used. So what you can also do if you're looking like for a specific theme, like let's say I wanna get some trees. Then I can just click here, um, just put in my keyword, and you can see here now that it shows me relevant images according to my keyword. And that's how you use Unsplash with Bricks.